Europe, with its rich tapestry of cultures, iconic landmarks, and breathtaking landscapes, is a treasure trove for travelers. Dive in as we take a look at the top 10 best European countries to add to your bucket list. Number 10. Austria Alright, let's jump into a magic adventure to Austria. Imagine a country that looks like a beautiful picture, with huge mountains, shiny lakes, and yummy food. Guess what? Austria has super famous places like the Salzburg Festival and the Schönbrunn Palace. The Schönbrunn Palace is just a regular house. It's a special spot picked by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. It's like a giant castle with a Habsburg family, the big bosses of Austria-Hungary long ago, used to spend their summers. Picture a place with fancy old designs and big green gardens. That's the Schönbrunn Palace. Then there's the Salzburg Festival. Every summer, a pretty city named Salzburg becomes the party place for top-notch music and theater. It's like the biggest talent show with the superstars of classical music and theater. But Austria isn't just about palaces and festivals. Vienna, the big city of Austria, is a mix of old stories, culture, and cool buildings like the Hofburg Palace and the State Opera House. And guess what? The Schönbrunn Palace is in Vienna, too. Let's not forget about Salzburg, located among the Western Alps, where the fancy Baroque designs will make you feel like you stepped into a storybook. Plus, this is where the Salzburg Festival happens. Hallstatt is another must-see place. It's a pretty town by a lake in the middle of Austria. It's cute with old-fashioned buildings. And the Alps? Oh boy! They stretch across many countries and are like a big playground for people who love outdoor fun, like hiking and skiing. Number 9. Netherlands Alright, let's take a super fun trip to the Netherlands. This cool country is famous for its canals. That's a waterway built by people, windmills, and pretty tulips. Plus, it has some really amazing places you've got to hear about. Ever read a book by a girl named Anne Frank? She and her family hid from the bad guys in World War II in a house that's now called the Anne Frank House. It's in a city called Amsterdam, and it's a very important place that reminds us of what happened and why being free is so important. Now, let's talk about the Rijksmuseum. It's like a giant treasure box filled with beautiful art from a long time ago, made by famous Dutch artists like Rembrandt, Vermeer, and even Van Gogh. Now, let's imagine visiting some really cool places in the Netherlands. First, there's Amsterdam, which is like the boss of all the cities. It's the capital. It's a busy place full of history, and it's where you'll find the Anne Frank House, the Rijksmuseum, and the Van Gogh Museum. Then, imagine walking in a garden filled with millions of colorful tulips. That's Kuchenhof in Lies. It's open from the middle of March to the middle of May. Next is Kinderdijk, a place where really old windmills stand tall. These windmills were built to help keep the land dry, and the place is so special, it's protected by UNESCO. And finally, there's Zanseschans. It's a village with windmills, cheese factories, and other cool stuff that show us what life in the Netherlands used to look like. So if you're into waterways, windmills, tulips, and fun, you'd love the Netherlands. Number 8. Portugal Let's take a quick fun trip to Portugal, a country filled with old stories dating back to the times of the Romans, and picture-perfect beaches like the ones on the Algarve coast. Ever heard of Sintra? It's a town in Portugal that's almost like a fairy tale. Picture castles, beautiful gardens, and lots of people visiting from around the world. Now, think about a place with sunny beaches, golf courses where you can play all day, and fancy resorts to chill in. That's the Algarve Coast. It's like a dream vacation spot. Portugal is an amazing place, with so much to see and do. Here are some cool spots. 1. Lisbon. It's the boss of all Portuguese cities, the capital. Lisbon is filled with stories and pretty sights. The famous Geronimo's Monastery and São Jorge Castle are here. 2. Sintra. Just a little hop from Lisbon, Sintra is a town with grand palaces and gardens. The Pena National Palace is a must-see. 3. Porto Portugal's second biggest city, Porto is cozy and charming, with a river running through it. It's got cool places like the Hibera District and the São Francisco Church. 4. Algarve Down in the south of Portugal, the Algarve is the place to be if you love beaches and playing golf. It's like a sun-soaked paradise. Number 7. Turkey Picture yourself in Turkey. It's where Europe and Asia shake hands, and there's a melting pot of cultures to explore. Turkey is home to historical marvels, stunning landscapes, and a fascinating mix of people and traditions. Let's start with the Hagia Sophia, a gem on the UNESCO World Heritage Site list. 
This beauty started its life as a church in the 6th century. It got a makeover into a mosque in the 15th century and now stands as an iconic symbol of Turkey. Its stunning Byzantine architecture is like a storybook illustration. Taking the magic carpet ride from the grandeur of the Hagia Sophia, we land in the bustling maze of the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. One of the world's oldest and biggest markets, it's a treasure trove of over 4,000 shops. You'll find everything from quirky souvenirs and richly patterned carpets to exotic spices. Next, let's swoop over to the Pamukkale Travertines in southwestern Turkey. Imagine a staircase of snow-white terraces formed over millions of years by flowing hot springs. It's a sight that'll make your eyes pop. Our carpet ride continues to the fairy chimneys in Cappadocia. These tall cone-shaped rock formations look like something from another planet. Molded by erosion over time, they lend a magical vibe to the central Turkish landscape. But the magic of Turkey doesn't stop at eye-catching sights. It's also a land of rich history and diverse cultures. From the ancient Hittites and Romans to the Ottomans, many have called Turkey home. Today, it's a vibrant mix of Turks, Kurds, Armenians, and Greeks. So if you're up for an adventure that's both fun and enlightening, Turkey is waiting to welcome you with open arms. Turkey is really a place to book a trip to as soon as you can. With so many travel sites, how do you get the best deals? Book your next trip like never before with our ebook, Travel on a Dime. With a comprehensive collection of affordable travel destinations, we've simplified the process for you to plan your next getaway. Inside, you'll find expertly selected travel spots that will not break your bank, complete with the most affordable times to visit each location and a multitude of budget-friendly activities to engage in. Don't miss out on this invaluable guide that will revolutionize your travel plans. Click the link in the description section to secure your own copy of Travel on a Dime. Number 6. Let's time travel to Greece, a place where history whispers in your ear and beaches make your heart leap with joy. Picture spots like Mykonos and Santorini, where the sand is warm and the sea is sparkling blue. Now imagine a tall hill with ancient buildings sitting on top. That's the Acropolis, a landmark from way back in the 5th century BC. And it's so special, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's like a piece of the past still standing tall and proud in the middle of Greece's capital, Athens. Next stop, Mykonos. Known for its postcard-worthy beaches and houses as white as clouds, it's a popular spot for fun seekers and sunbathers alike. Imagine partying under the stars or just lazing around the beach. That's Mykonos for you. And then there's Santorini, a dreamy island shaped by a giant volcanic eruption thousands of years ago. It's the perfect place to hike, swim, or check out the ancient ruins of Akrotiri. The stunning views of the sea-filled caldera, a giant crater, will take your breath away. But hold on, there's more. Besides these popular spots, Greece has hidden treasures like the ruins of Delphi and Olympia and the sky-high Meteora monasteries. Plus, if you love outdoor adventures, Greece is a great place to hike, sail, and island hop. Number 5. United Kingdom Let's pack our imaginations and zip off to the United Kingdom, a place brimming with royal grandeur, timeless mystery, and breathtaking scenery. First stop, Buckingham Palace, the King of England's grand home. Picture a big, beautiful house with fancy designs, sitting like a jewel in the heart of London. And guess what? You can even take a tour inside. Just a short hop away stands Big Ben, one of the world's most famous clocks, located within the Houses of Parliament. If clocks could talk, Big Ben would have countless stories to tell. Now, let's journey back in time to Stonehenge. Located in Wiltshire, England, it's a circle of big, tall stones that nobody knows for sure how they were set up. Quite a riddle, huh? Next up is the Tower of London, an old castle that used to be a prison. It's now home to shiny treasures like the crown jewels. Yes, real jewels. Meanwhile, the British Museum is like a treasure chest of art and objects from all around the world. And the best part? It's absolutely free to visit. Ever dreamt of being a super smart scientist or a world leader? Well, many of them went to Oxford University, one of the oldest and most famous schools in the world. Now, let's head north to Scotland, where the Grand Edinburgh Castle stands tall on a hill overlooking the city. The Scottish Cran Jewels live there too. And finally, the Scottish Highlands, where mountains, lakes, and forests create a giant playground for adventurers. Keep an eye out for Loch Ness. Who knows, you might spot Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Number 4. Germany 
We're swooping off on an adventure to Germany where fairy tales come to life and every day can be a party. First, let's land at Neuschweinstein Castle, standing tall and proud like it's leapt straight from a storybook. This castle is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and was King Ludwig II's private retreat. Nicknamed the Fairy Tale King, he certainly knew how to live in style. Flying from the castle's towers, we land in the heart of Munich. You can almost smell the sausages and hear the cheerful music of Oktoberfest. It's the biggest party you can imagine, with traditional tunes, food galore, and lots of beer. For the adults, of course. Now, from this merry atmosphere, we whisk away to the solemn but magnificent Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. Rising grandly from the ground, this sandstone masterpiece isn't your average gate. It's a symbol of peace and victory, topped by a mighty chariot drawn by four horses. But hold tight, we're not done with Berlin just yet. We're soaring to the Reichstag building, where Germany's big decisions are made. Its scars from World War II have healed, and now it proudly offers a stunning view of Berlin from its shiny dome. Number 3. Italy Let's explore Italy, a treasure trove of culture, history, and natural wonders. Our first stop is Rome, the capital city, brimming with world-famous landmarks. The Colosseum, an amphitheater built in the first century AD, hosted gladiatorial contests and public spectacles. Not far away, the Trevi Fountain, a Baroque marvel, is believed to ensure a return to Rome if you toss a coin into its waters. Moving north, we find Pisa and its Leaning Tower, a 12th century bell tower famous for its unintentional tilt. Despite correction efforts, it still leans today, making it a captivating sight. We journey next to Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance. Its Uffizi Gallery showcases masterpieces from renowned artists like Botticelli and Da Vinci. Also, the Florence Cathedral, or Duomo, is an architectural marvel with the largest brick dome in the world. Venice, the city of canals, is our next destination. Its iconic gondola rides, St. Mark's Basilica, and the Rialto Bridge draw visitors from around the globe. Built on more than 100 small islands, it's a maze of waterways and historic architecture. Our penultimate stop is Milan, a hub for fashion and art. Highlights include the Pinacoteca di Brera Art Gallery and Teatro alla Scala, one of the world's leading opera and ballet theaters. We finish our tour with the natural beauty of Italy, the Amalfi Coast, with its cliffside towns, beaches, and vineyards offers breathtaking views. The Dolomites, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offer outdoor activities like hiking, skiing, and snowboarding amidst their stunning peaks. Number 2. Spain We're off on an adventure to sunny Spain, where culture, history, and nature blend into a spectacular fiesta. Starting in Madrid, Spain's spirited capital, you'll marvel at world-class masterpieces in the Prado Museum. Every corner of Madrid whispers tales of the past, offering a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Spanish history. From Madrid's historical echoes, we move over to Barcelona's modern beat. Here, the Sagrada Familia, Antoni Gaudí's unfinished masterpiece, reaches skywards. Its complex design, despite over a century of work, continues to astound visitors. But Spain's not just about iconic buildings, it's also about fiery passion embodied in the traditional flamenco dance. Imagine watching dancers whirl in intimate venues known as tablaos, the air electric with excitement. Here's a quick bucket list of other places to visit in Spain. 1. Explore Madrid's history and art at the Prado Museum. 2. Kick back and relax on the golden beaches of Costa Brava. Three. Be in awe of the Alhambra, a Moorish palace and fortress in Granada. 4. Experience the lively culture of Sevilla, known for flamenco dancing and scrumptious tapas. And don't forget the Pyrenees Mountains. The hiking there is amazing, with stunning views that make every step worthwhile. Number 1. France We're off to France, Europe's all-time favorite vacation spot. With its captivating history, mouth-watering cuisine, and stunning sights, there's a lot to love. Ever heard of the Eiffel Tower? Of course you have! This 19th century wonder of wrought iron architecture kisses the sky and offers a breathtaking view of Paris. It's a must visit. But we're not done with Paris just yet. The city also houses the Louvre Museum, a treasure trove of art. You can say bonjour to the Mona Lisa and discover works of art from all over the world. Now, isn't that magnifique? But France isn't just about city life. Nature lovers rejoice. With landscapes ranging from the towering Alps to sunny beaches on the Côte d'Azur, 
France is a paradise for those who love the great outdoors. And let's not forget the food. French cuisine is a delight for the taste buds. From the fluffy croissants to the tasty cheeses, there's a lot to savor. Here are some gems you should definitely check out. 1. Notre Dame Cathedral, Paris's Gothic masterpiece. 2. The Palace of Versailles, a trip to the royal pass, surrounded by serene gardens. 3. Arc du Triomphe, celebrate French history at the end of the famous Champs-Élysées. And don't miss the vibrant cities, explore the beautiful beaches in Nice, smell the fragrant lavender fields in Provence, sip world-class wines in Bordeaux, and discover the culinary delights of Lyon. Comment on which of the European countries you would like to travel to and check out this video right here.